Do you deliver for grub up and get sick and tired of waiting in a restaurant 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, me too. You know why it happens? Because Grubhub fails to update their dispatching system to a more efficient manner like Uber Eats and DoorDash. Perfect example, I'm here at Applebee's. It's 1.20 on Friday, November the 5th. The customer placed this order at 109. I received the offer at 110. I contacted driver care to ask them why am I receiving a delivery offer before the restaurants even confirmed it. 114, the restaurant confirmed that they've received the offer from their tablet, they've placed it in to be made. I'm already here. The lady came out, she said, yeah, it'll be 15, 20 minutes. She said this happens all the time where drivers are showing up and waiting and they can't always get to the tablet right away. So they don't always get it in, which adds another five minutes or who knows what, depending on how busy they are, on top of the 15, 20 minutes it takes to prepare, prepare the food. I asked the dispatch uh, employee, I did a little math problem. I said, imagine, 15 minute wait, on average, four deliveries a day, only four, one hour of lost time. That's a lot of money and adds up quick. I asked him, I was like, how would you feel if someone took away an hour of your pay, because you're hourly paid, every day? Then he starts getting loud with me and getting uppity. Well, you're a driver, sir. You can accept or not accept. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm an independent contractor. I'm not an employee. And that's why I reject 90 plus percent of Grubhub deliveries, except for the ones that pay decent and that are close by. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll look and I'll see when the uh, delivery was placed. I already know what's going to happen. I already know I'm going to be waiting because it's Grubhub. Unless it's like fast food. I mean, if you're a fast food restaurant or something like that, wait time might be minimal. Might be worth it. But this is Applebee's. Let's be real here. It's lunch on a Friday. Yeah, exactly. So you're getting out loud and uppity with me. And I'm like, why? Over three years I've been delivering for this platform and you refuse to change your systems. I said, no wonder why you're going downhill. You're getting your butt kicked by DoorDash and Uber Eats because you guys fail to change your systems and listen to feedback. Feedback from restaurants, feedback from your drivers, feedback from your customers. It's a no brainer why you're getting your butts kicked and you're going down fast. Anyhow, what you can do for now is you can look to see when the diner placed the order. 90% of the time, unless it was one that somebody showed up and in unassigned, it was just placed. Do you get the notification that says that it was just confirmed? Yeah, it's going to be a minute. And what sucks is five minutes in, they send you a notification saying that uh, basically they haven't seen you heading towards the restaurant, blah, da, 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 da. Eight minutes after you get a threat that they're gonna unassign the delivery and you're at risk for, you know, get your, your pause, your, your account paused or deactivated. That's manipulation. I'm an independent contractor. If I know it's not gonna be ready, why in the heck would I rush to the restaurant, sit and wait? I can go finish a DoorDash delivery or an Uber Eats in 10, 15 minutes, which then takes away, cuts my losses. And I could still go back to back from one delivery to the other. The food's getting picked up hot and dropped off before it was supposed to be delivered by unless the restaurant got a late or something else happens. So instead of changing their, updating their systems like the other companies, they'd rather send texts and manipulate drivers. So those of you that are pro premier drivers, that's just dumb. Dumb. You're essentially their employees with no benefits paying their side of the taxes. Because as 1099, you're paying taxes as an employee and an employer. Yeah, think about that for a minute. So you think you're doing something good by being pro or premier driver? You're just screwing yourself. You aren't screwing me. I'm still going to go make good money. I'll go deliver for other platforms. I'll reject all the crap offers. I'll pick up the spots where I know like Taco Bell or McDonald's that I know are going to be quick and timely. I'm not going to have that big of a wait.
because they're a fast food restaurant. They're going to get the food out quick. Or still wait. I'm still going to have to wait. So again, what you can do is look at when the diner placed the order. Take a screenshot. You need to collect evidence. You need to back yourself up. I do it every time. And they'll go back to, to hiding it. I'm sure I put this video out on YouTube. They'll go back to hiding when the diner placed the order. But we all know when the diner placed the order right before we received it. Now, if you show up to a restaurant and they tell you it's going to be a 15, 20 minute wait, unassign it. Or once you've already arrived, go do another delivery. Go do a DoorDash. Go do a Uber Eats. It's close and quick. Cut your losses. Be an independent contractor, not an employee. Those that want to bash us for cherry picking and doing whatever we have to to get around this BS, those pro and premier drivers that think they're doing, you know, do-gooders, that's just ignorant. I hate to say it and be mad at me for saying the truth. Y'all are idiots. You're only hurting yourselves. You aren't hurting me. You aren't hurting the other delivery drivers that work as true independent contractors. With that being said, I'm back. I never went anywhere. But enough is enough. They're no longer paying a seven, eight dollar minimum. I mean, I've seen offers as low as two something dollars, three something dollars. I laugh and I honest, I reject it. Reject, reject. Be a true independent contractor. Be a boss. You're your own boss. Don't put up with this nonsense. And when you show up in a, in a situation where you know you're gonna have to wait, ask the restaurant, how long is it gonna be? I can go do another delivery. Cause they don't want you sitting there waiting in their hair. They don't want to be bothered. Get the real answer and then move on. Be smart about it. Don't put up with this crap. I mean, it's nonsense. Losing all this time and money just because the company does not want to change their systems. All they have to do is delay the time to when they dispatch it. They get the notification just like we do when the restaurant confirmed the order. Once the restaurant confirms the order, they can, some of them can put how long it's going to be. Like she just told me, once they accept it, we put in there that it's going to be ready for 15 or 20 minutes. They know. They can dispatch it in a timely manner, but they refuse to. So those of you that keep accepting 85 plus percent, that's just dumb. You're just hurting yourselves and helping Grubhub when they don't give a crap. They will positively activate you over little to nothing. That being said, have a wonderful day and be safe out there.